happen, you know, like, I was still, like, a really, like, I was a kid, and, like, I look back on myself, and I'm like, wow, I was really immature back then, you know, and, like, I don't know, I guess I've grown up more, like, I don't trust as much people as I, you know, should, and I'm just really edgy on people, I'm not a really big people's person, because everybody that I've ever, like, ran to, because, like, when I was, um, when I was going away and staying at my friends' houses and stuff, you know, I was friends with Taylor, and that's where I was going, was at Taylor's house, and, um, then, like, right when I was going through the whole, like, trying to get out of my dad's house and stuff, her and Hannah, like, ditched me, like, told me that they didn't want me to be my friends anymore, and so, like, I didn't have anybody, like, literally, I didn't have anybody at all, like, because they were my only friends, and so I just don't, I'm more edgy on trusting people and putting all my, like, myself for someone. And are you more, like, independent? Yeah, I've, well, I've always been independent, but I'm definitely more independent because I don't really have, like, my parent to be, like, you know, help me out or anything or, like, tell me what to do, so it's more like I make my own choices. And, like, do you think it's a good change or, like, a bad change, like, being more independent? Well, independent? it's like I was forced to grow up at a young age, like, really, like, you know, because of, like, when my mom first got cancer, you know, and then it was like, I don't know, my childhood was kind of over, because, like, I knew what it was about, and my dad died, and so I was kind of forced to grow up really, really quick, and so, like, my dad, he always tells me that I'm 14 going on 41, and, like, he's, like, and, like, he'll yell at me about it, he gets frustrated, he's, like, I hate it, he's, like, you act like you're this age, and I'm, like, well, I don't know what to tell you, like, I'm just, you know, it's me, I can't really... So in other ways, I guess it's kind of like bad, but I, I don't know, I think it's good. I don't have a problem with it, <laughs> except like trying to get like along with your friends, like your friends are so much more naive and like don't know as much as you do, and then you're just like, oh my god, I just want to choke them sometimes. <laughs> Same thing, but if you want to describe it more, how did you feel when, like you first found out? So like you said that you didn't cry, but yeah, you. Like, well, I felt like I was like I was broken, you know, like it was like wow, you like something that you love so much is just like not gonna be there the next day, you know, and you know it. So like I cried when they first told me because it was like you know no, she can't she can't be dying, you know, like that's not how your family's supposed to be, you know, and um. But after my mom actually passed away and she took her last breath, I like just stopped crying. And I couldn't cry anymore just because it was like, yeah, you can't, why, I feel like you're feeling sorry for yourself if you continue to cry and mope about it, you know. So you're really being strong. Yeah. These are like the same questions as the biggest change. Okay, well, I'll still ask, like, what's the biggest change that's happened since then? Like, what's up? Would it be like the move? Yeah, probably. It's okay. Um, so, this isn't like towards like how your mom died, but we're like, I don't know, because I wanted to make it a little happy. When was, like, when was the best day of your life? Could it be like a day when you had? Yeah. I don't know. More like more like the simplest things. Like when you know, like you think about it. Um, I don't know. My happiest times were like laying in bed with my mom and just like watching movies with her on the weekends, or like we'd sit out on the deck and like just talk. That's cute though. I am very involved like watching TV. Um Okay, how do you think your life would be if she was alive? Like if she were alive like right now, how would you Um not the way it is now. Like my I probably wouldn't be moved out of my dad's and we I'd probably actually have like a family. Like, cause I don't really have a family anymore. It's kind of all broken up. Cause my dad and my brother don't like each other, and my mom's gone. So I know my dad wouldn't drink as much, and 
I'd actually like live with him. So probably just like anybody else's ordinary family, I guess. Um. So okay, I guess how different would it be? Be like really different from like a normal life? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. If you could tell your dad something, like one thing, and he would really hear it, like I just, I just need you to know this. I just want you to hear this. What would you tell him? That I love him and he's not alone. Like. We all have to get through it together. And he's, you know, like, it's teamwork. It's not just him, you know, and it's like me. Like, it's supposed to be both of us. You had another day with your mom. One more day with her, what would it look like? It would probably just be like us laying in her bed, watching TV. Even if she was healthy, that like, yeah. you would just want to fly back. I don't know, because I remember, like, when I grew up, like, that's always what I was doing. I was always in bed watching movies with her, like, because she, like, she was really tiny, and, like, she was always really tiny, and she was always cold, so she, like, always was in her bed watching TV, so I'd always go in there and I'd crawl in bed with her, and we'd just watch TV and talk about <laughs> the future and stuff when I got older. Do you think your mom would be proud of who you are now? I'd hope so. I can't really say because I know like I've made my own mistakes and stuff, but I know she's you know she's watching me and she can see it. But I would hope she'd be proud of me for trying to make my better life, make all my life better, and not holding back and trying to take care of my dad. <laughs> like because he's the adult, he should be taking care of me. Oh no, it's okay. I actually needed your help. Um, I just had a question. Um. Um, one last question. If something about your mom, um, I guess this is kind of a random question. What, like, how did, like, when you said that your mom and you would, like, talk about your future, like, is there something that your mom wanted you to be? Like, what did she want you? How did she want you to grow up? Well, she never told me what not to do. Like, she never told me, like, don't do drugs, or, you know, don't get pregnant, or, like, she never told me not to do anything, like, and I think she, like, meant to do it for a reason. Like, she didn't, you know, because she probably knew that kids usually, when they get told not to do something, it makes them want to do it more. And so, I never, you know, I just grew up knowing not to do it, like, you know, so I just never did. And, um, we talked about, because I was, like, I was always thinking, because I knew my mom had cancer. So I laid in bed, and I remember this one day, I asked her, I was probably, I think it was the same day I asked who was my real dad. And um, she, uh, I was like, if I ever die, if you ever die, um, where will I go? And she um, said wherever I was happy, wherever, whatever made me happy, and whoever I wanted to live with. And... Um, so, I don't know, I think she pretty much her main goal was just for me to be happy, like, when I got older. <coughs> the aunt that you live with, is that your mom's sister? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you see things in her that remind you of your mom? Well, they both look like a lot of like, like, they're, my mom was blonde, mm -hmm. but, and my okay. aunt's brunette, yeah, but they're really, both really tiny. And my mom was a totally different, like, from what my aunt is. My aunt, like, is a clean freak, and she, like, her house is, like, perfect. And my mom was just kind of like a slob. Like, she didn't care, you know. She was just, like... She was busy watching movies. Yeah, exactly. Right. She, was, she was just, like, you know, relaxed about it. She'd rather be happy than worry about a whole bunch of stuff, you know. Like, my aunt's always moving and doing something. And she's, she can't sit there and watch TV or anything. She's not that kind of person. But. Have you ever told her how you and your mom used to lay in bed movies and that you miss that. Yeah. And do you think that she'd be willing to sit down and watch a movie with you? Well, we like, like at nighttime, I live with her and my uncle. At nighttime, like some nights we'll like stay up on see who can stay up the longest and we'll just like watch movies all night and she'll make popcorn and stuff. But other than that, usually she, like, she can't just sit down and like, you know, watch TV. Do you like doing that with them? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's your mom. Yeah. yeah. It just makes me feel like I have the family that I'm supposed to have, you know. Do you think like your aunt 
she loves you like she tries to love you as much as like your mom would? Does yeah, she, she definitely, mom? she tries a lot and it's like, you know, nobody can really replace my mom so I'm always mm -hmm. like kind of on guard about it. Like sometimes like certain things she asks me kind of put me like, you know, don't ask me of that. Like it's none of your business or, you know, like I try to like push her away sometimes and I mean, I probably shouldn't because she is trying like her hardest to like make me happy and like, but it's just like, you don't want to get too close and like, you know, I don't know, you just, I try to rebel against her, I guess, but I probably shouldn't as much as I do. Are you like happy with her? Like, do you ever like miss your mom? You just don't want to be at your aunt's house or? Yeah, like, like on, um, it was the day that my mom died, um, like last, last year. Um, I, or it was either, yeah, that or it was Mother's Day or something. It was one of the days that, or my mom's birthday. I think it was my mom's birthday. And, um, I just didn't want to be there. I just wanted to be with my dad, like, you know, and I was, like, crying and I left school early. And, um, because I just, I was a wreck and I just wanted to be with my dad. So, like, I went over to my dad's and I stayed with him and we, like, went out to dinner and stuff. And it's just, like, sometimes you just want to be with someone that knows how you're feeling. Like, mm -hmm. I know that, like, my aunt was hurt too, but she just doesn't understand because she wasn't with my mom, like, every day. Wait, did you say it was your mom's, like, birthday? Yeah, it was my mom's birthday. Mom's birthday? Okay. your meals or that comes to your sporting games. If you could um, tell something to kids here to help understand who you are and your situation.